Welcome to the next lesson. In this section of our video, we offer the solution. How can we help our clients? As always, you can use my script or change to your own one. Let's start the design. Move the text up and insert the image, slide 7. We need to stretch it to the size of the slide, as we did in the previous lesson. Click and hold the right bottom corner of the image and stretch it down. Next, click and hold the left top corner and stretch it up. Now let's crop the image to the size of the slide. Select the image, Format, Crop, Aspect Ratio and choose 16 to 9. I like the image, but I want to darken it. To do so, let's add a new rectangle to the size of the slide. Remove the border and change the color to dark gray. Now we don't see our image, so let's change the transparency. I think 27% will work just fine. Looks good. Now let's add the text. I want to divide the sentence into two parts. This is why and now you may want to. Select the second part you may want to and cut the text Ctrl X and paste it Ctrl V. Don't forget to click the empty space outside the slide to deselect any elements and only then paste the text. Change the font to Lato Black, size 60, uppercase, color to blue and let's add standard shadow. Also, we need to center it and fix alignment. Next, select the rest text, bring it to front and place above the first text. Change the font to Lato Light, font 48, uppercase and color to white. Also, let's adjust its positioning. I like the layout, but we can make it more attractive and contrast. Draw a new rectangle. Let's make it 4.7 in width and height. Remove the border, make it black and set the transparency to 47%. Also, align it to the center and middle of the slide. Now we need to place it under the text. Click several times the send backwards command till you clearly see the text. Yep, I like the result. If you clicked too many times and the rectangle disappeared, just click the undo command or Ctrl Z. Now we need to add a nice looking borders to emphasize the rectangle. We will use the same shape as in the slide 2, half frame. Draw the shape and change its height and width to 196. Change the color to pink and remove the border. Looks too big and heavy, isn't it? Let's adjust its thickness. I recommend to zoom up so it was easier to walk. To adjust the thickness, we need to click the shape and click and hold orange circles. I want to make the thickness of the slide slightly smaller than the thickness of the text. You can use the letter U as a sample, or you can add guides if needed. Try to keep the same thickness for left and top side of the shape. Also, we need to adjust its positioning. Place the pink shape on the left corner of the black rectangle. Make the distance between the shapes equal to the double size of the pink shape. Now we can zoom out and duplicate the pink half frame. Flip it horizontal and align it to the right side of the rectangle. Again, duplicate the shape and flip vertical. Place it to the right bottom corner and maintain the same alignment. Do the same with the last corner. Duplicate, flip horizontal and align with the rest shapes. I like the result, but we need to check the alignment of our new shapes. Select all pink shapes, Ctrl click each shape and group, right click group or Ctrl G and press Align Center 
align middle commands. And the final touch. I want to add a thin line under the blue text. You can draw a line, but I prefer to use rectangle. Insert, rectangle, and draw it under the text. Change its height to 0 0.05 and width to 221. And align center. Make it white and remove the border. Adjust its position so the white line was placed on a small distance from the text. Also, align the upper text, so it was placed between the blue one and the end of the rectangle. We finished one more slide. See you in the next lesson.